So in thousands of households, apparently, it's time to dust, hoover and wash after the weekend. But does facing the housework make you feel like this? Nick looks when he's doing the hoovering. Spot but on. what you wear to clean the house is a lot about your attitude, apparently. According to an exclusive report by Hoover, we are mostly a nation of sloppy dressers. Sloppy hooverers, really. So if you're still slobbing in your slippers after midday, you are definitely not alone. 35% of us wear slippers, and at least 17% of us are slaves to our shell suits. Mm. With us to reveal, yes, apparently, with us to reveal, I know it's shocking, with us to reveal the 1993 domestic collection is Alison Everett, who's fashion commentator and cartoonist. Hello. Hello. Well, I can see you dress up to do the hoovering. Well, of course, if I ever hoover, which I try not to very much. Yes, apparently in the survey, a lot of women made the point that they just didn't do the hoovering because they were new women. Well, you get a woman in to do it, don't you? Because <laughs> you can't get a man because they don't do it. No, they don't. T take us through the Hoover catwalk then. Well, it's very interesting how much more concerned people are about uh, hoovering once they realise that some people do it in their underwear. And the Moray poll broke it down into six categories. So we're going to have a look at our first model, who is Bridget. And this look is um, based on La Batty. Oh, yes, Nora Batty. <laughs> the diva of domestic duties. It's a no-nonsense, sleeves rolled up, pinny on, curl is in sort of a yeah, look. When you look at those stockings, you just know that she's going to work hard, don't you? Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> but she still retains <laughs> elements of femininity. You think so? Yeah, because she's got a flower dress on. She doesn't look like a man, that's good. <laughs> but I see this doesn't just stay in the house, it goes down the path to the front <laughs> gate, which she'll probably give a quick polish on her yes. way out. Yes. It's not very elegant, but it is very British. It's also bag over the garden fence style, isn't it? And it is a style that, that's unfortunate on its way out. But her house probably looks better than her, doesn't it? Yes. It looks fit and span and she's a mess by the end of the day. Most probably. Thank you. Well, now we've insulted her. Let's do the next one. <laughs> well, our next model is the supermodel, who's Gillian. Oh, yeah. And this is, of course, how I would want to be filmed if anybody popped round to the house whilst I was hoovering. It's very chic and slinky, as, of course, I am. <laughs> of course, yes. And it doesn't encourage excessive hoovering. No, well, she could plug it in. That would help. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to build up a sweat or get any creases because you never know who's going to pop in from Hello magazine. No, <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. There. Yes, even with cosmetic earrings. hoovering. Even with full I jewelry. think you have, to, you have to have it. And the fluffy slippers, which yeah. I think is uh, jolly good. It's definitely an in because if you can afford this to hoover in, you can afford a lot nicer clothes when you go out. Yes, yes. And it would excite the milkman if you had to answer the front well, door. Well, I think like so. That, I don't think she'd answer the door to the milkman. She'd get somebody to do it for her. <laughs> <laughs> and bring him in. <laughs> and moving on to Kathy, who is our woman in a shell suit. Oh, yes. This is normally, uh, this is worn by athletic, sporty types who treat hoovering as an aerobic exercise, which is certainly not the way that I do it, if I ever do. It's colourful. It's comfortable it's a shell suit isn't it right. really can we have the next model as well before we run out of time because we want to see everybody yeah possibly. we want to get okay. this carpet sorted anyway we've got mrs this is mrs slob she's a victim of hooveritis yeah. she's been doing it far too long she can't be bothered to get herself cleaned up in a comfortable tracksuit in a very comfortable tracksuit it still retains right. the shape of your bottom when Good. you take it off and finally, we've got two, two more. Oh, well, two more. Right. And ultimately, is, is Linda, who is the, the underwear. Else after this, there's <laughs> <laughs> the underwear. Some people do do it in their underwear, but I do suspect that they do it in, in a sloppy old t-shirt and pants, oh, oh, no. rather than this. Uh, I think she's a bit of an exhibitionist, depending yeah, on whether oh. she does it with the curtains open or closed. She really, can have isn't a it? filthy carpet. As and far finally, as I can look, say. the unseen, <laughs> do not known phenomenon. The do man. not adjust your set. It is a man with a Hoover. They've got a very good approach to hoovering men because no, it's really very do. casual and it's very lackadaisical, stress-free. Oh. Because, <laughs> thank you. Because he just doesn't get to do it very often. Alison, we'll have to leave it there. Thanks very much indeed. <laughs> as yet, another report has come out this week condemning British men as the worst dressers in Europe. We'd like to hear from you if you know one. Do call us for your husband, boyfriend, father, or brother. Ouch! Simply has no. They just can't do The it, number can is 021 609 9000. What a noise! The man's hoover has just fallen to bits.